Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. I am excited about my inspiration. I'm working again from Sabella Court's book, etc., um, that I did like I did last Sunday. Um, this week, I, ha I haven't done any like pre-recording or anything like that, like I normally do. Like I'll pre I'll pre-do some things and then kind of walk my way through it with you. I have not done that. I have been incredibly sick. So last Sunday, last Sunday's video, um, I said, you know, I'm getting a little cold. Well, um, after that video, um, I, I was down for like three, almost four days. Um, I have never, never not worked, never just been to bed. Um, and I was just, and still am, I'm better, like a thousand percent better, and still not not myself. Um, so I'm I'm gonna talk as little as possible because um, it is not the C word uh, um, that I've been tested for that. I can't say it on YouTube, so um, it's not that. It's a respiratory thing, and it is unbelievably. I, I can't even tell you how terrible it's been, but I'm better. I'm, I'm better enough to paint and I could, I just, there's something about, like I paint every day and so not doing my thing for four days, I was just like, this is killing me. Um, so I'm just glad to be here at the table. Um, so I'm going to explain what my thought process is for this. Um, my only inspiration, um, is that in her book, and I'll talk about it a little bit, she talks about the things that she loves and how she decorates is, and how she decorates homes and what all of her clients is that she asks them what they love, um, and then surrounds them with those things. And I thought, is that not the perfect story for our lives and how often that's how we create we create with the things that we love and so that's what i'm doing today i'm pulling all of my favorite things well not all of them i could because i started getting really excited about it and be be like i need that and that and that and that and that you know it'd just be chaos so i'm trying to rein it in but I have some really great ideas that I hope will turn out. Um, the, um, the supplies will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. I can't even, I still can't catch my breath. Um, um, the stencils that I use today will be on sale. Um, and um, my newest workshop, Nesting, will be out and available when you see this video for early bird pricing. So you can see why I'm not talking very much because I don't have breath. I've, uh, I've got meds for it all and I, I couldn't even hardly breathe a couple days ago. So this feels like I'm on vacation. So um, let's walk through it a little bit and then I'm just gonna turn the camera on and create. I'm not gonna go through it a whole lot I'm just going to give you my ideas and then create that. That is my um, gift to myself to kind of take it easy on this this week. I almost wasn't able to do it, but I've felt good enough that I'm like, I'm, I got to paint. I got to do, I got to do my thing. So um, I hope you enjoy the project. So let's, let's take a look at a couple things. So I've got a 12 by 12 MDF board out here and I've just painted it black with some black gesso. Okay. So here's my inspiration now. Um, as she begins to kind of describe her design style, she talks about how color and um, the colors that you love are the foundation and then the collections and the things that you love. So like all of these bits and pieces are parts of people's stories or her story, um, but the collections of the butterflies and the dragonflies, that kind of stuff just makes my day. And... Um, of course, the vintage feel of everything. So there's always blacks and whites in her designs and then a pop of color. She chooses a color palette, a, a color that's going to pop throughout. And I love that kind of idea. And so like all the collections 
just truly inspire me. And um, my home is a lot similar to this. I, I, I decorate with what I love. Um, so, but like the numbers, so I've got, you know, ideas that I was pulling from this. Numbers, I'm gonna be using some of the labels that I used from last week. Um, let me see, where's the other one? Um, I don't know why that one's there. Hmm. Let me pull this one. Oh, oh, just all the vintage papers. All the different types of things. They're telling a story. They're maybe telling the journey. Um, so I've got a ton of vintage papers. And my favorite vintage papers. And then... Um, this, I, I actually have something very similar to this in my home that's like a room divider. It's like a big three panel shutter that's crackled like this. I love it. Um, and so this truly inspires me. So I want to do some crackle. And then I love this, this. So you can see how I talk about the blacks and the whites, blacks and whites, and then this bold pop of color. And this wallpaper is so, so interesting to me. So what I thought I would do is I have painted out here um, kind of a dark turquoise color, and that's going to be my pop of color. This is actually a color that I just painted my bathroom, um, of course. And, um, and my bathroom is very similar to the color theme, blacks and whites and grays, and then this bold pop of color and lots of woods and stuff like that but so I am going to on this piece of paper I have my um, roses and peonies stencil and I want to create kind of create this kind of wallpaper effect on this piece of paper so that I can use this then as collage paper because I'm like oh I wish I had some vintage wallpaper like that well I don't so I'm going to try and create it myself I don't know how it's going to work um, but we're going to I'm going to give it a try um, I'm going to use some crackle, and then I'm going to use all of my papers, my bold numbers, um, and of course the greens and the te teal. Like this, this is like a dark, dark teal color. Um, and I, for for my house paints, typically I mix my own colors. Um, I just love doing that. That's my thing. So, um, and I was trying to think if there was another thing. I just went through and chose my favorite papers. So I'm gonna set that back there. I've got some number stencils and some old type text stencils because that's that goes with the feel. Then I've got postcards are always, if you've been around me long enough, you know postcards are messages to myself. And this week my message is, Sean, it's okay to just take it easy. It's okay to just, you know, not do the, you know, go all gangbusters, just, do what you can. That's what I'm doing. So that's my message. Then I've got, look at these vintage papers. So look at this ledger sheet. Oh, love it, love it. And this is a, um, a numbers table and a, I don't remember what it's called. Um, and then I've got, this is a, the cover of a butterfly's book. And then look at this. This is a, I have a gigantic old ledger. Look at that. And um, she has rolls of ledger sheets that she wraps up and ties with a ribbon and puts in a basket. I'm like, that just would make me happy. Just so very, very happy. Okay, um, I've got a few extra bits of collage paper, but these are the main ones. These are the ones that were really I really wanted to kind of incorporate, and I am trying to rein myself in here. Um, and then for my collections, like she has, I've just got a ton of butterflies. I'm not exactly sure how this can play out yet, but we'll see. And then some vintage numbers. Numbers are always a good thing for me. Um, and then I'll have my crackle, my green crackly, and my green kind of wallpaper, hopefully, look. Um, I think that's it. I'm trying to remember if I... So the roses and peony stencil and the other two stencils will be on sale. Um, and I've got some other labels. I've got a few random bits too, like 
um, just random numbers, like this was luggage tag number, that kind of stuff. So I've got some of those kinds of sit things sitting around. Um, I started with black, and I'm, I think I'm going to brayer a little bit of light color on here and then start building my composition from there. Um, the only colors that I think I'm really going to be using are whites, blacks, grays, my, my teal color, maybe some unbleached titanium because it's kind of creamy, and then some raw umber. I really think that's about all that I'll be doing. I thought about introducing a pop of magenta because, again, that's what I love. But we'll see. I'll see how it, how it feels. Um, and that, I'll use matte medium or matte gel to put my papers down because we've got a lot of papers to go on. Um, and I think, I think that's it. Of course, all the supplies will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. All right, loves, that is all the breath that I have. And I'm just gonna turn the camera on and create and sit, turn on my music and just relax here and be here and create and have fun. I hope you enjoy the project. I hope you get a chance to check out nesting. I'll have the link down below as well, um, my newest workshop and that's it. All right, my loves, um, have a wonderful Sunday. May it be restful and peaceful, and may you always, always know that you are loved.
Thank you.